Hey, I'm Ron Drodos from KeyboardImprov.com and welcome to day three of our 31 day rock piano for beginners workout challenge. And we're replicating the process that rock musicians go through when you join a band, which is really the best way to learn because you're doing it. You're not overloaded with, okay, I've got to learn this whole book right before I can even start. So nobody learned like that, right? So you want to use the um, more uh, step by step or uh, you know, uh, intensively like I'm going to learn this and I'm going to try this and I'm going to try this. Um, theoretical concepts and advanced uh, like rhythmic and, and voicing concepts, you want to learn that as a supplement to just doing it and doing it, just like we learn language. You know, we're not learning a hundred new words every day. We're using our language. A young child uses the language and then learns words and how to spell them as they go along. But it's 90% doing, 10% the drilling and stuff like that. Woodshed. So, uh, welcome. Uh, we're gonna we learn the A blue scale. If this is your first time here, uh, welcome on day three. We learn the A blue scale. Uh, you're welcome to go back to the beginning or even catch up here. But it's A, C, D, right, and then E flat, E, G, and then you could double the high A or even go further or down. And um, we learn how to use it to improvise. So let's just start like that. Let's say you walk into your third rehearsal with your rock band, right? And the drummer says, you know what? Remember that ballad we played yesterday and you were soloing with the A blues scale? It sounded great. It goes, well, I learned a new drum beat today. And it goes, boom, boom, ch, boom, 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 ch, boom, 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 ch, boom, boom, boom. You're like, oh, that's cool. So we're gonna do the same thing. But meanwhile, your drummer friend is going to play that beat. And that's how things work. You're not learning new stuff every day, but you're using it in new ways. So I'm um, starting the timer for 20 minutes. Make sure it's loud enough to hear. And here we go. Just with the right hand, let's just start together. One, two, three, four. It's nice to do sometimes at a high point. It kind of imitates an organ, a Hammond organ or something. So we're imitating the, uh, the organ or a held note on a saxophone or a guitar. So uh, tremolo on A. We'll, we'll do a two bar build up and then we'll get to that tremolo on A. So one, two, here we go.
that and a guitarist, whatever. Um, so that was great. Just getting into it, fluency, getting a sense of groove, of flow, that's the way to go. And then we know the A blues scale pretty well and we've um, done some jamming on it. It's a big step, big, big step because this is the process to learn in everything we do. Um, okay, so let's look at the left hand. We're gonna start with just an A because this is an A, we're in the key of A. We haven't specified A major or minor with the blue scale. I was just playing in minor, but the blue scale works over major too. Even though it's a minor scale, it has, it has that flat third in it, the, the C natural instead of the C sharp in the major key chord. And it's sort of that bittersweet quality, that, that, that emotional uh, layers of emotion, something joyous and something um, a little bittersweet or even sad underneath. That's, that's the appeal of the blues. It's, it's, it has this, um, like I said, a layered multi, um, emotional uh, feeling, layers of emotions at the same time. So you can use it for a major or a minor, this blues scale. And um, with the left hand, you can either just play one note in A, or you can play octaves, or even alternate between the high and low sometimes. But um, if you have small hands, or if you're like the age 12 or under, 14 or under, if your hands haven't grown yet and it's, it's a little hard to hit the octave, even if you can barely do it, just stay with the one note for the most part because you don't want to strain your hand. It will grow. And if you just have uh, you know, small hands and you want to play the one note, it's perfect because that's what a bass player would play, one note. Now, we're not going to learn um, exactly like a, a specific rhythm to play all the time, not at the beginning. We're going to let it be fluid, like it can be. Just do that with me, just sort of. You can use the pedal a little. It's like a drummer. If you listen to the classic rock bass lines, Bill Wyman with the Rolling Stones or with the pianist left hands we're doing a lot. It's very fluid. I think it wasn't until this plethora of rock and roll bass books and piano books that everybody said, okay, for this thing we have to use this pattern and this. Even if there's a general feeling of the song, like okay, the bass hits on the end of two. One, two, three. It's very fluid within that. You know, um, just it, it, that it, it's, it's very improvisatory. And I don't think I learned any patterns for about three or four years, you know? I think when I started playing on Broadway and I did Smokey Joe's Cafe, the book was written out and they definitely had bass lines they wanted played or left hand parts, really just because that's Broadway. You know, they wanted the same every night. But Rolling Stones is gonna be different every night, even if the basic tune is the same. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do the right hand at the same time. We need to experience this within itself for muscle memory to get used to it and also to experience what a bass player really experiences without the right hand sort of getting in the way then we'll add the right hand again so i'm going to go more to like a let's say more up tempo one two and just play along anything you want with the a it could just be whole notes you just stay in stay on that horse without falling off one two one two here we go change chords. I remember when I was in college at the University of Connecticut, there was this guy, he wasn't a music major, he used to come in, go into a practice room, turn the lights out, and just do this for like an hour at a time. Just with the A blues scale over and over again. And some of the music students, mostly classical, some jazz, they were, you know, what is that guy doing? Is, is he going to get better? I'm like, yeah, he must have been in a, a rock band in high school. And, you know, all his friends are back home or at other colleges. And, you know, he, he just goes to a new school and just wants to let it out. 
you know, let all that stress from his classes out and just jam and, and you get better by just doing it because I heard him get better too. So um, let's, let's try it now with the right hand. And the idea is that we can play a very simple right hand while we focus on the left. Or you can play a fancy right hand and just play very simply in the left. Just to get started here, again, like you're in a rock band and you're just going to have fun. One, two, one, two, three, four. to that another time. Let's pretend now we're just doing the left hand again and we're going to go to a ballad and we're just going to play a measure of A, a measure of G, a measure of F, and a measure of E. Now we can start with whole notes. One, two, three, four. Now F. Now E. Or you could go like boom. We're just going to stay on the A until I and, and improvise with the blue scale, while until I say go to G and then I'll say go to F. So we want to make sure we can do each one and then we'll string them together. One, two, A in the left hand. school I had a dream 
of a rock ballad with these chords and um, and the blue scale and it was a whole orchestra plus a rock band with electric guitar and everything but full orchestra with strings and oboes and cellos and French horns everything it was so vibrant it was a full orchestration and I woke up and I would have done anything to be able to written down what I what I heard because sometimes when you dream I've had some dreams where it's very vibrant I don't know if you've ever had that the music's much more um, like it just permeates you more and, and I have to say when I'm just playing now it's much closer to that dream than, than ever before. Not so much the notes, but the, uh, the feeling that I get from the music, the sort of opening to it over the years. So uh, that's part of the journey too. Um, let's do it with one measure each, just the left hand. One, two, starting on A. Any rhythms you want. something very legato in the right. And then get a little more playful. Same chords, we'll do two measures each, so it'll be like one. Like that. You can either just do the left hand if you want, or you can add something in the right, or you just play, play an octave and hold it down in the right. You know, this is your own level. That's the thing about being in a rock band. You play at your own level. Whatever anybody else is doing. The guitarist is going crazy. You're just playing some chords. That's fine. One, two, one, two, three, A. some things between the hands there. One way to practice this is you literally become a little toddler again. And you put on uh, some uh, rock music, whatever it is you like on the, on the uh, stereo or you know your whatever Alexa. You listen to it and you just play along with two hands like you're a drummer. That's what I mean by little little toddler like just banging on pots and pans. See? And then you can replicate it. First, one, two, three, four. Oh, keep the left hand going the whole time. One, two, three, four. Now, G. F. E. Now you go, both hands.
Oh, okay. So, thanks for joining me here today. I had a great time. Hope you did too. You can watch this one again, you know, or just jam on your own. Probably even better, right? So it's not just the same thing. And then go on to the next one tomorrow. And by the end of these 31 days, you'll be rocking. So again, thanks for joining me here. It's a real pleasure. It's a privilege, honor. And um, I get inspired by doing these too. Uh, if you're interested, uh, there's a, a, some links you can click. There's another uh, video I think you might enjoy. You could click on that. Uh, if you want to take some lessons from my Keyboard Improv website to see what they're about, uh, there's another link that you might enjoy. And please subscribe if you want notifications about all these videos. Thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow.